What's up team and welcome to the video. And the aim of this week's video is giving you a pre-cycling follow along warm up to complete with the idea that you complete this eight minute warm up, get out on the bike, do five or 10 minutes out on the bike to warm up and then you're good to go and good to absolutely hammer it out on the roads. As we all probably know, warming up is super important, but probably something a lot of us neglect. But warming up before heading out on the bike or heading into a sort of trainer ride is really important to help, number one, prevent injury. Number two, kind of activate all those muscle groups that are needed to perform well on the bike. If we've been sat at the desk for long periods as well, helps us just kind of loosen up all those joints, those tendons and those ligaments, so that when we're out on the bike, we're not super stiff after a day of being sat at the desk or whatever job it is um, that you've been doing. So the warm up we're gonna to do today, really specific to cycling, but we're also not gonna hold any stretches. We're gonna move through loads of different ranges of motion that are gonna be specific to cycling. We're gonna activate those muscle groups we use out on the bike. So it's gonna really give you a good bang for your buck in eight minutes to help get you out on the road performing well and riding well without getting injured. We've got eight different exercises we're gonna complete. We're gonna complete them for one minute each, but keep an eye on the top right hand side of the screen as well. You'll be able to see what exercise is coming up next. So without further ado, make sure you're ready to head out on the bike, get some space in your living room. Let's complete this eight minutes and head out on the road or on the trainer. Exercise number one is a walkout. Gonna try and keep our arms and legs as straight as possible. Walk ourselves out into a press up position, walk ourselves back up. So three, two, one. Off we go. So nice and steady, there's no rush for this. We're just trying to get moving. Really good exercise to stretch out the hamstrings, activate the core. It'll also activate the shoulders as well when we're trying to fire it up a hill outside, start pushing hard on the pedals. We get a little bit of weight through the upper body, obviously holding onto the handlebars. So you can bend the knees a little bit as well. If you're a little bit less flexible, just bend the knees, bend the elbows, really squeeze the glutes at the top as well trying to activate the glutes as we go to. So as I said, all these exercises today are gonna help lengthen, but also mobilize the joints and also activate all those muscles we use out on the bike as well. 18 seconds to go, nice steady pace. We'll also elevate our heart rates a little bit as well by doing these exercises back to back. 10 seconds left, go for one more. And then we're gonna stay out down the bottom into the next one, which is a lunge reach. Then you're gonna bring one leg in, drop your back knee down, right knee out, right leg to the floor, right arm to the floor, sorry, right arm to the ceiling. Don't worry if you can't get your right leg all the way in as far as I have, just go as far as you can manage, even if it's just to here. Elbow as far to the floor as you can. Nice twist, reaching up to the ceiling, open out the hips and the chest. And then when you're ready, just swap legs. So you're gonna go left leg forward this time, and then left elbow as far to the floor as you can go, up to the ceiling. Follow the hand with your eyes. Nice steady pace. Not trying to rush through this. Just trying to get everything moving, get everything stretched out. 10 seconds left, and then we're gonna hit the hip flexor pulses. Stretch out the hips, the front of the hips this time. Three, two, one and change. So we're just coming up into a kneeling position here. We're just gonna push forward, one leg, come back. So both knees should be about 90 degrees. Try and keep your hips level, don't let your lower back arch. Keep your chest up nice and high, just push forward. We should be feeling it down the front of this back leg, just pulsing forwards and backwards. Again, we're not holding these stretches to, to lengthen and relax because we wanna be active and ready to go out on the bike. We're just trying to mobilize the joints and the muscles and everything. Swap, swap legs when you're ready. 30 seconds on each side. And again, just pulsing forwards. Nice, steady pace. There's no rush. Feeling it down the front of that back leg. Squeezing the glutes as well and the core. And then the next exercise we'll hit is going to be hip 90-90. Again, just mobilizing the hips. Ready for pedaling. Three, two, one and change. So, you're gonna have front leg at 90 degrees, back leg at about 90 degrees, put your hands behind you. We're gonna twist round. The aim with this one is to keep the upper body as upright as possible. Put some pressure on the hands. Just going from 90 position, 90, 90. Knees are at 90, hips are at 90. On the front leg and the back leg. 
just mobilizing the joints. If you need to lean back more, feel free. Makes it a little bit easier. But the idea is, use the arms, push yourself up as upright as possible. Keep yourself as upright the whole way through the movement. Twisting from the right side to the left side, making sure your knees and hips are all at 90 degrees when your knees touch the floor at the bottom. Really great one to mobilize the hips, get everything fluid, get everything moving. Next, up, next exercise is a glute bridge. Three, two, one. And we're onto our backs this time. Gonna activate the glutes, so we need these while cycling, give us some power. So heels under the knees, squeezing up to the ceiling, pause at the top for two seconds, nice and slow on the way down. So squeeze the abs, squeeze the bum at the top, try and keep your lower back as flat as you can. Really squeeze at the top. Again, we're not trying to overdo it. Feel free to go onto one leg as well if you really want to make it tougher, but you don't wanna knack yourself before you get out on the bike. We're just trying to activate things, get everything firing. So we're all ready to go. Squeeze, slow on the way down. Nice and steady. We're up onto the feet next, gonna hit a squat. Again, gonna help activate the glutes, the hamstrings and the quads. Also the calves a little bit too. Nearly there, keep going. Three, two, one. Then up onto the feet. Up onto the feet for the squat. Feet, shoulder width apart. Heels stay down on the floor. Come down as low as you can, core nice and tight. Stand back up, you're gonna squeeze the glutes at the top and come up onto the calves as well, onto the toes, sorry, at the top, using the calves. Squeeze from the side, looks like this. Heels stay down, come down as far as you can, hips back, chest up. Squeeze, bump at the top, squeeze your calves, come up onto the toes. Again, loosening up the whole lower body, but also activating everything so that we're all ready to go when we get out on the bike or on the trainer. Nice, 20 seconds to go again, nice steady pace. Just trying to raise the heart rate, get everything firing. Push those hips back, but keep the chest up. Eyes facing forwards. Seven seconds left, then we're onto the lunge reach. We're lunging backwards, reaching backwards. Three, two, one, off we go. So lunging backwards, drop that back knee as far as you can. Reach back, come to a standing position again. Repeat on the other leg. Reaching back, so we're stretching out the front of the hips now, but still activating the glutes, mobilizing everything, stretching out. So again, when you're hunched over kind of at the desk or on the bike even, we're just sort of putting ourselves into the opposite position here, getting everything stretched and loose and mobile. So drop that back knee as far as you can. You can even drop it to the floor and then just stand back up. The main bit is we're reaching as far as we can reaching back with the neck as well, following the hands with the eyes. One more exercise to go, and then we can get out. Three, two, one. Then we're down into a press-up position. All we're doing for this one, feet wide apart. We're just gonna go shoulder, shoulder, opposite hand, opposite shoulder. If you need to, you can drop the knees down onto the floor if it gets a little bit tough. But if you can, feet up, knees up, off the floor. Keep the hips level, opposite hand, opposite shoulder. This one's gonna activate the core, activate the shoulders, activate the quads. Try and keep the lower back nice and flat. We're 30 seconds in, so feel free to drop the knees if you need to. Just keep it going. The idea here, we're trying to stay in a good position. Knees, hips, shoulders in one straight line. Keeping the hips steady, and we're using the core, the quads, and the shoulders to do that. Therefore, activating them all. This is the last exercise. Really get sweating, ready to go out and hit it. Nearly that. Three, two, one, and relax there. Awesome work. You're now all mobile, all activated, all ready to go. So head out on the bike now, and um, whether you're on the trainer or heading outside, Remember, five to 10 minutes at a nice steady pace just to get the legs going, just to get the heart rate up, and then you can go and do whatever session you've got planned 
or hit the hills as hard as you like. Be sure to like the video if you found it useful. Feel free to repeat this every single time before you head out on a ride. Please do let me know in the comments down below as well, what session do you have planned today? Are you hitting out the hit, hitting on the hills? Are you doing a hit session? Are you doing an interval session? Are you going on a group ride? Are you heading out on a weekend long ride? Let me know down in the comments below. Really interested to hear, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later. Thank you.